So determining the integral of a function can be done using the calculator and here's how it can be done. Suppose we have the function x squared plus 7 and we wish to find the area under this curve from x equal negative 2 to x equal positive 5. This is how you can do it. You can go under y equals, you can type in the function, We can go ahead and hit graph, and we see the little bit of the parabola. We can hit second and then trace. This brings us to the calculate menu. Selecting the last option, the integral of f option, uh, brings us to the lower limit, which we selected to be negative 2, and then the upper limit, we selected to be 5, according to our example, and then we hit enter and it gives us the evaluation of the area under the curve. So the area under this curve between negative 2 and 5, according to the calculator, is about 93.3 repeating. And the exact answer is 93 and one third. Suppose you wish to determine the antiderivative of the function x squared plus 7. Well this can also be done, but only graphically. And here's how. We shall examine the result over the interval negative 2 to x, where x is between negative 2 and 6. So the first thing we do is we set up the window, and this is specific to this example. You can set up the window after you plot as needed. So we'll go second, and program. We'll go ahead and clear out these drawings. Then we'll go ahead and change up our window to go between negative 2 for x min and then x max will be 6. Now I'm going to leave the x scale at 1. The y min I'm going to leave at negative 10. But the y max I'm going to change to 100. When I did the area under the curve from negative 2 to 5, I had a value that was a little over 93. So I'm going to take my y max to be 100. I go back to y equals, and I scroll down to the second slot, and I hit math. I select the f and int option under the math menu. I wanted to find the area under the graph I've entered into y1, so I hit vars, scroll over to y vars, and select y1, and I want this y1 function to be in terms of x, or I'm sorry, in terms of t. Then I'm going to tell it to integrate this with respect to t. And I'm going to start the integral from negative 2. And I'm going to stop the integral at the value x. Now remember, when it comes through and plots this graph, it's going to be going through and saying x from negative 2 all the way up until 6, and it'll do this incrementally. Now as you can see here, the graph is starting to be calculated for the antiderivative. Okay, now that the graph is almost completed, we can uh, talk about this a little bit. So here we see the graph of the antiderivative being plotted for x squared plus 7. Now a couple of drawbacks of doing this is that it doesn't tell you what the function actually is. It only gives you a graph, and on some uh, functions. It can take a really long time to graph this on the calculator. So don't forget that when using the fn int command in this way, you have to create a dummy variable, and I used t in this case, so the antiderivative can be graphed. The plotting structure, when under the func uh, option in mode, only understands graphs in explicit format of y equals some function of x. 
So to graph an antiderivative, you need to have one of the limits of integration as x, and the integrand has to be in terms of a different variable, a dummy variable, if you will. So this can be a little complicated, uh, and it can take a really long time to graph some of these antiderivatives, but it is possible to do it on these calculators, and this is how it is done on TI-8384 calculators.